Hi guys, I'm here with Whitney Isaac, our candidate in Calgary Glenmore, which is kind of in the center south of the city, right? Yeah. Uh, Whitney's so excited that you're part of the team. I've worked with you before and I'm, I've always been so impressed with your passion and ability. Tell people a little bit about your background, what's brought you to this moment. This is actually where I grew up. I grew up uh, over here in Lakeview and uh, I still live in the constituency. Uh, rent to school here, raise my kids here. And a little factoid, I actually live three whole blocks away from where my grandfather's acreage used to be on 24th Street. No so, way. Yeah, so I rode horses as a little kid and Those watched are pretty our deep houses roots. being built. Yeah, pretty <laughs> deep roots indeed, yeah. So, um, and, and uh, you, you got on to become a small business person here, I know? Yeah, when I first graduated from university, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I bought this little uh, retail business downtown and uh, still own it today with my husband, 30 Jewelry years business, later. Yeah. yeah. Your husband's a jeweler? Yeah, he's a goldsmith, yeah, by trade. And, so he does um, the craft part, you do the business part, yeah, I'm guessing? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so uh, when I had my kids, uh, I was doing the back end of the business, and uh, when they got to school age, that gave me some time to have a couple of other careers, which uh, included working for the legislature for five years during the Klein years. So I got to find out what it was like to go to work every day when uh, when protesters might be outside your office. <laughs> and uh, and then after that, I worked in corporate Calgary, first in telecom and then in oil and gas. So. And uh, you've told me that that little jewelry business has been really feeling the effects of this economic downturn. Yeah, it's like a canary in a coal mine, really. Um, jewelry is probably one of the first things to go when, uh, mm -hmm. when times are tough. And I can tell you that uh, times are pretty tough. We've... Uh, you know, in 2016, I stood in my kitchen one night and I knew we were looking down the wrong end of a really bad Christmas season. And that's when I decided I wanted to get involved uh, in the United Conservative movement because I knew we needed a United Conservative Party if we were ever going to turn this around. And I just, I'm sure you do, we hear the same stories from so many entrepreneurs who put their life savings in little businesses like this that are have either gone under or barely hanging on, eh? Yeah, they're hanging on by their fingernails or unfortunately they've had to close their doors. So many things have hit them all at once. It's, you know, this is a downturn and we've been through downturns before. It's not the first one, but yeah. this one's different. And there were a lot of out of touch NDP policies that frankly piled onto some of these small businesses at the bottom of a downturn and they just couldn't hang on. Mm -hmm. So now we've lost their employees We've lost their employment, we've lost their investment, and for some of them, they might not get back up again, and I really worry about that. Well, that's, I, I, I know what motivates both of us is to fight for those people. Um, they don't have any special interest group, there's nobody who holds a protest for them, uh, but they're the victims of bad economic policies. So, but you know what, this campaign, I hope, is gonna be a positive one from us, talking about a plan to revive that economy and, and get those people back to work. It will be. Awesome. Thank you so right. much, Whitney. Take care. Appreciate it. Thanks.